Hi guys, this is my first ever recorded uh, video on my channel. This is a reaction channel. Welcome, welcome to Minko's bedroom. I hope you enjoy your stay here. Today I will be reacting to a WWE Oh My God 100 Moments video. Uh, I have been a huge fan of wrestling my whole life uh, until about seven, eight years ago, till like 2013, uh, when CM Punk retired or uh, not, not retired when he was fired eventually after the pipe bomb and everything that's when I stopped watching uh, but this is my first video so I hope you enjoyed us uh, this is uh, yeah this is let's see the video this is the 100 oh my god moments of the WWE I hope you like this let's go let's lower the volume a little bit I don't want to be inconsiderate and watch this Oh my! Damn, the other ticket. This is a long time ago. I think I remember this. This is the Batista bomb on the on the steel chairs. Oh my God! Oh, just imagine the pain on your back. How can you do that? Though? This, 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 this is insane to me. Okay, getting on top of a ladder and then jumping face first, doing a backflip and landing on your back. You know, like when I was little, I did that once on my bedroom. Like I, I did a flip and I landed somewhat on my back and like I was, I had this pain in my back for a week. And they're just jumping and it must hurt, okay, you know. Oh my god, this must hurt so much. You know, on the, on the chair, the guy, there's no, you know, the guy isn't uh, stopping himself, he's just jumping. You know, maybe there's a trade secret for it not to hurt as much, maybe, but... Yeah, okay, that was weak. That was... Yeah, I hope they're gonna show more of uh, Shane Mac, which, amazing uh, team song. He has an amazing team song. Yeah, there are certain moves, certain, um, I mean, look at this. There are certain, uh, what's called, cascades. Not, not cascades, it, there are certain tricks. Tricks, uh, stunts, there you go. There are certain stunts that are so visceral, in a sense that you can't really do anything to alleviate the pain that's gonna that's about to come like this I mean you're literally falling from like I don't know how high the ladder is eight feet maybe on another ladder I mean oh I remember this day RKO oh, yeah this is a yeah no music on that one Matt Hardy Oh, the tax. Oh, I remember this. I remember watching this one as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if that was a oh my god moment, but it was. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. Just you hear the sound of it all. Oh, I remember this. That was brutal. I don't know which one hurt this the most. Chris Jericho or was it Edge? I, I don't know. Van Dam Chuck Sam. <laughs> Whoa. He looks like <laughs> Jeff Hardy looked from the back like Chris Angel. I don't know if you if you ever watched it, the the magic the magician. The magic guy, so to speak. One night stand two thousand eight. 
one last ride. Well, that's certainly a last ride right there. Oh my god. Oh, the commentators. They're so hyped. Yeah, it's always Jeff Hardy has like the craziest stunts. It's version for my letter. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. And then he takes the, the belt. I remember the 2006. I remember watching this video way back when. It was a long, long, long time ago. Imagine if you missed the, the flip. Like if something like you, something catches your shoes or uh, your shoe or something, and you're trying to go for a flip, but you go face first. I mean, you can, you can number number one kill yourself, but most likely like do irreparable damage to your neck and upper area. Oh, I remember this. That's insane. The guy is so big, and he, you know. No! And DDT. I remember this. Edge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Choke slam on the ladder. Oh, extreme rules. And Chris Angel back again. And the spear, okay. Damn, I mean, imagine, imagine the force, uh, and I'm a bigger guy, imagine him though, like the big show falling from, from a table to another table, but he's so large and uh, heavy that it must hurt so much, and they're just destroying him. Back foot, this is nuts, this is nuts, the, yeah, I remember this. This is insane. How he didn't break his neck, I don't know. RKO? Yeah, RKO. That was insane. I mean, there's so many moments that, first of all, bring me back to my childhood. It's, it's a nostalgia trip of an insane degree. Choke slam. MVP! Getting tossed, elimination chamber. Oh, I remember this guy, the Alberto De Rio announcer. Oh, this marks How, you know, I have a question though. Like, how hasn't there must have been like uh, superstars who have gone like who have had mental issues from all those. You know, concussions, I'm assuming, because it's insane. Especially him! Oh, what? This is a classic. I mean, Mankind falling off. Shawn Michaels, way back when, when he had a ridiculous shorts. <laughs> Smirk at the end, like, eh. I would be arsonist right there. This is a. Uh, this is a more recent one, I think, because Big Show was fitter. Dude, like, if you if you wrestle with... You have, you have to have an incredible amount of trust to wrestle with someone else, because... It's insane how much you put... Uh, how much trust you put in their life... Uh, in, their, in their hands. Because, you know, like... When... Uh, let's go... Yeah. Look, he has... To, he can so easily, if he's incompetent or stressed or, you know, especially if it's a new uh, wrestler who isn't used to that crowd, I mean, he can so easily snap his neck. You know, just a, a, a difficult, different bump and... I mean, I guess the tables sort of reduce the... Sixteen feet of the ground. Whoa! <laughs> Imagine how much hurts falling on, on like 
concrete metal. Damn, Brock Lesnar is a beast. Didn't Coffee stop doing that? That move with the boom boom. I can't imagine the pain though. And in, in that era, they were crazy. Like in the 90s. I remember this. I remember. I, I was wondering if this was like already pre planned. Like they were really. This was already discussed, and you know, the the breaking of the ring was uh, something already planned, or was it just a pure accident? Which I have to go with the first one in this case, the first choice that was planned, because like why hasn't it happened since then, and or was it just this one you know, mistake or one th the, the the one thing that broke the camel's back? I don't know. Huge respect to the wrestlers, though. You know, it's like Jeff Hardy. Oh my God, the color boys is destroyed. Look at this guy. This guy is insane. Imagine, like this Jeff Hardy. He's always in them. Like Jeff Hardy should be immortalized with a, I don't know, sort of special event for him. That's with ladders, I don't know what I'm talking about, but you, you get my meaning, he should be immortalized in the ladder matches. Whoa! Who's this guy? Was it, that's uh, John Cena's father, right? I remember this, he like, kicks him, punts him in the face. Imagine, imagine if, you know, it's our range, of course, but imagine if he kills him, like, <laughs> how much of a downer would that be? <laughs> it would be extremely entertaining. Okay, and maybe that's because I'm a sick fuck, but let's be like... Oh, snaps your back like out of nowhere. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Imagine the force. Boom, boom. On the ladder. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I was like, I think this was. I might be wrong. But this is one of the first time, uh, first times, at least I've ever seen a ladder be put um, horizontally and break. Beforehand, I thought. I think it was all. Um, Huge respect for Shane uh, McMahon. I mean, the amount of jumps he's been like very high up at the Tantrum, Tantrum, uh, on the steel bars. Um, you know, well, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the number of times he's been up there and he's like risked his life for for not only the company but the fans as well. It's insane because you know his story. It's so you know. Counter uh, intuitive, so to speak. To what do you think his normal position in the company would be? Dude. <laughs> to be honest, I'm surprised there, there hasn't been more deaths in the wrestling. Especially back then. Nowadays, I'm assuming it's more, it's safer. But back then, I mean, and I, I know there were deaths. I remember there was, um, I don't remember who, I think it was Owen Hart. I remember there was someone who was like uh, on a harness that was supposed to come through the middle of the crowd and he fell. But I haven't like heard that many uh, dying in the ring. Except Eddie Guerrero, which was tragic, you know. Yeah. Dude. 
I wonder if jumping from that height would it hurt more falling on a table or on a body and vice versa in the sense that well we imagine first of all, I wonder what the impact would be on the individual that's been falling upon um, but also the individual that you know jumps because I mean let's think about it if you jump on someone it will be cushion but then do you risk killing them like if you jump full force full body weight just you know with the with your um, with your uh, oh my god am I having a blank here it's so embarrassing with uh, with your hand out let's just put it out and that was classic bubbly bubbly whatever uh, Thank you. Thank you for watching. This was my first video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this was the 100 Oh My God moments, 100 Oh My God moments of WWE, which I would be completely frank. Uh, I don't want to say I expected more. That's not it. It's just it, it was a lot of repetition. You know, it's uh, next time when I make my second video and uh, we'll see where it goes from there, I will. Uh, I will put, I will pick something a little bit more interesting. I don't know. We'll see. Thank you for, uh, thanks for listening. Have a good day.